Another update, another controversy in Call of Duty Mobile. Guys, today we talk about the new bundles, the truth about what's going on right now in COD Mobile, everything you need to know, what are the bundles, why are they there, and we also got an official statement from Call of Duty Mobile on Reddit. So guys, don't miss out on that one. Everything you need to know starting right now. Hey guys, Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we talk about the bundles. Well, first of all, what are these bundles? If you guys don't know what's going on right now, you should see the Reddit. It's crazy. People are talking about scams, boycott, and all that stuff. People are getting refunded right now on Google Play. So the story is, if you missed the last couple of days, there was a huge update, new season pass, new season, rank season. And some people have bundles instead of crates in their shop. And I am included here. Uh, I don't have crates. I just have bundles. And bundles is pretty much what people have been asking for a long time. People say, just give us stuff that we can directly buy with a fixed price. And this is an example. Okay, so when you buy a bundle, you pay straight up. 200 cut points or 2001 for that one and you get a gun skin you get a dlq and you get a knife and a frame so you get all that's in the bundle you don't have to gamble you don't have to buy multiple crates and hope to be lucky so the crates well you can get lucky and only buy one crate and get the gun but you can get unlucky and buy 120 crates and still don't have the gun so it could be cheaper it could be more expensive with the crates, well, you know what you're getting and you know how much you're going to pay. So what is going on right now? Why some guys have it and some guys still have the crates? Well, there's a huge conspiracy theory right now. You should see the post on Reddit and we're going to take a quick look. So there's a post right here. Bundles should be for everyone. It is not fair according to some uh, members on the Reddit. Now, this one is a huge one. People talking about a scam. They say enough is enough. Let's boycott the crate system. Even when the devs give some of what we've been asking for, AKA the bundles, they still find a way to screw the rest of us with their crates. And you see the Parker tunnel here talking about a scam. Um, and we'll get back into it for sure. Now this is people talking about refund. So those who bought crates without knowing about the bundles can get a refund in uh, within 24 hours. And this is the, the way to get refunded. So once again, uh, people are pretty mad right now asking for refunds. Uh, they want to stop buying crates. They want to get refunds and they want to boycott the crate system. So first of all, what you guys need to know, and it's an official post. Uh, it's a previous community update from before the uh, rank reset. So that was from the official community update on Discord and on Reddit. And some guys seem to forget about or some guys just don't read the community updates. But it says in-game testing. And they say throughout April, we are going to be performing some tests in Call of Duty Mobile. Sure, we always perform tests to iterate on the game or see how players react to new features or changes. However, these ongoing tests may include experience or changes that only some players will see throughout April and may not always be a part of the gameplay experience. Bear with us. And just keep in mind the are tests occurring okay so that pretty much looks like they're talking about the bundles and well you'll see the official answer in a moment but remember this okay they are testing stuff they want to see how players will react what they will do and they're not talking about the reddit reactions they probably talk about how people will behave in the game Will they buy the bundles? How many of these will buy the bundles? And I'm pretty sure you guys know there's different types of players in Call of Duty Mobile. And watch Hawksness, he made a great video about monetization. Some people are free to play and they will always be free to play. No matter what kind of offers you put in their face, you can put a 37% rebate. You can put a 90% rebate. They will not buy because they don't even buy the season pass. They will buy nothing. They will not spend a dollar. And guys, you had no idea how many People are free to play. It's millions of players. And some guys play mobile games because they don't have a console. They don't have a PC. And they don't want to put money in gaming at all. Not one dollar. Okay. Because the, the battle pass right now is super cheap. And it's the best value in the game. 
So if some guys would just put a little bit of money, they will buy the battle pass or the season pass. Now the other type of players will just buy the season pass, five bucks a month is as much as they want to put into mobile games and they still think it's a bit too much because they should play for free. So they buy the season pass because it's good value, but they don't, they're not going to put an extra 20 bucks for a few guns. They think it's ridiculously high, $20, $25 for just a few extra gun skins. This is stupid. And then the other guys are the big spenders. They buy cut points, they buy crates, they buy bundles. Well, these guys, they will pretty much buy anything. You give them crates, they will buy crates. You give them bundles, they will buy bundles. Um, so I think you pretty much have your answer already about how people will behave. And I keep hearing the same thing like in other games also. They say, why are the devs stupid? Like just give us stuff directly for buying directly instead of crates. People would buy more. They would make more money. Well, guys, do you think they're stupid? They know that already. And if they don't do it, it's because it's not working like that. And it's exactly what's going to happen, guys. The free to play players, they're still not going to buy bundles. The battle pass players, most of them will not buy more than the battle pass anyways. Now the spenders. Well, if you show them crates, they'll buy crates. If you show them bundles, they will buy bundles. They see something they like, they will buy. They see something they don't like, they will pass. And some YouTubers, they'll just buy everything, no matter if it's good or bad. But yeah, like I, I did like that bundle and I bought it. And I didn't like the other bundles, I didn't buy. If it was a crate instead, I would have said, oh wow, this crate is pretty good. I got the HVK, I can have a DLQ and I can have a cool knife. Maybe I would have bought a few crates. And you know how I do? Usually if I get lucky, I stop. If I don't get lucky, I stop also. But if I see something I really want, I'll buy, buy, buy crates until I get it. So some guys will get it for cheap, some guys will not get it for cheap. The story is... It's not true that they will make more money with, with bundles, okay? If they put crates out there, it's because it's their way to make the maximum amount of money. And they know it. And they did read analytics already. Mobile games did not start existing this year, okay? It's been out there for years. And monetization systems has been tested already. And they know what's the best way to make a lot of money. And they, they do it that way because it's working that way. Now back to the Reddit and the scam. Well, first of all, it's not a scam. It's not exactly what a scam is. And you guys can Google what's the definition of a scam, but this is definitely a test. And there's also conspiracy theories. Some guys think that free to play players get bundles to make them or try to make them spend more. And the high, the high spending players, they still get crazy. Well, that is not true. It's totally random. And I'm a spender and I got bundles, so totally wrong. It's not free to play players that are getting bundles. So stop saying that, guys. I'm not defending, I'm just saying uh, the facts, okay? Now, uh, in this post on Reddit, if you guys go read the comment, uh, some guys made fun of it because it's not a conspiracy or anything. But about the Parker scam, there was a comment making fun of. Uh, like Call of Duty is running test and then Parker is calling it a scam. Well, Activision respond. And here's the answer, guys. You might want to read that. So here's the official answer in the comments posted a few hours ago. While we still have to remain our relative silence on this, thank you for reading our community updates and for correlating that section of it correctly with all of this. So basically, they confirm this is an in-game testing. This is the test that we're talking about on the previous community update. Now they say we wish others would do the same instead of resorting to conspiracy theories and painful and aggressive theories that are difficult not to respond to. So basically what they say is, yeah, we did announce we were gonna run some tests. We told you this is a test. We just wanna see how it's gonna work because you guys been asking for bundles. So we're gonna test it. We're gonna send bundles to a bunch of probably semi-random players and just see how it's gonna work for us. And probably we already know how it's gonna work, guys. I kind of told you already, but still, they kind of say, read our community updates first before you talk trash or just start fake news, false rumors. But it's not a prank, it's not a joke, it's not April Fool prank. 
It's not a glitch. It's not uh, anything you guys seen right now. It's definitely a test and it's confirmed. Even though they have to remain silent, they confirm it's it's about the test that we're talking about. But about the results, how it's going to happen, well, I can pretty much tell you already. And I know you guys are smart enough. Exactly the same. The free-to-play players, the millions and millions of players that don't put money in the game, they will not buy the bundles. And if you guys don't believe me, go back to my channel and watch my video. Not the video, but go read the comments. The video I made about the uh, the free skins, the Task Force 1 for 1 skins, uh, that you had to download the PC game to get the free skins, go read the comments, guys, and you will see. There's a lot, a lot of players that play mobile games because they don't have PC, they don't have consoles, or they don't have money to put in gaming, okay? It's not a joke. So these guys, they will not buy, and it, it's not going to change anything. Now, the Battle Pass guys, pretty sure they won't buy also. This is like 20 bucks, okay, for two or three skins. So these guys, they will buy the Battle Pass, and it's more than enough, and they're not going to put an extra 20 bucks for a gun. And then the Spenders, well, they will buy the bundles they like, and they will pass on the bundles they don't like. And then on the other side, the Crates dudes, well... They'll do the same. If they see crates they like, they will keep buying the crates. They will not boycott the crates. You guys want to talk about boycott? There's a game uh, called MSF Marvel Strike Force. They made a huge boycott a month ago, okay? There was a controversy with red stars and stuff. They had a huge movement and everyone boycott. Everyone boycott the game and stop buying red stars and stop spending money in the game. You know what happened? It was their biggest month uh, in two years they made more money that month than they made ever before why because they released new stuff that month and the big spenders in asia or whatever europe the big spenders they don't boycott they will buy what they like still and they'll spend thousands of bucks every month and it's not like five or six youtubers we're talking about it's it's hundred thousand players that spend a lot of money a lot more money than a few youtubers okay it's millions of dollars guys these, these games, they make a lot of money. And they will run the test just to show you guys or just to prove themselves that it's not the answer. Putting stuff in the shop for money, it's not true that they're going to make more money because it's not true that people will buy more, okay? Maybe a few players, but the big spenders, they're going to buy the crates. Whatever they, they have, the lucky draws, the crates, they will buy anyways. So I know maybe you won't like what you hear, but it's... Pretty much the truth, guys, is how it works. And it's, like I said, it's not new. It's been tested before. Anyways, so maybe, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, but I had to address this issue because we have an official statement now. Stop the rumors, stop the, the fake news. This is the word on the street now. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see the future. Of course, I like bundles, guys. I think bundles are much better than crates. If you offer me, if you make me choose, I'll say bundles every day, guys. Get rid of the crates, bring in the bundles. And the best you can do, guys, is if you have bundles in your shop, buy buy one at least. If you have crates, maybe boycott the crates. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to change anything. And it's been proven before in other games. Boycotts, they don't usually work because it's a few hundred players on Reddit. Does not represent the millions of people that downloaded that game. So... That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like. Leave a comment below what's your opinion about all this. And I'll, I'll read all the comments as usual. Now, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.